Here we're given the graph of a linear function and we're asked to determine the slope, the vertical intercept, and the equation for the linear function in slope intercept form or the form y equals mx plus b. Let's begin by determining the slope. To do this, we'll find the coordinates of two points on the graph and then determine the change of y divided by the change of x. And this will give us our slope. So looking at the graph, notice how the scaling on the axes may make it more difficult to find the coordinates of points. So the two most obvious points may be this point here, which is actually the vertical intercept. This would be the point zero comma four thousand. And notice how the horizontal intercept, this point here, would have coordinates two hundred comma zero. So we could use these two points to find the slope by determining the change of y divided by the change of x. Let's do this. And then after this, we'll see if we can use two other points to find our slope. So we wanted to move from this point on the left to this point on the right. Notice how we'd have to go down 4,000 units, which means the change in y or delta y is equal to negative 4,000. And then we'd have to go right 200 units, which means delta x is equal to 200. Knowing this, we can now find the slope, again, because the slope is equal to the change of y divided by the change of x. So the slope m would be equal to negative 4,000 divided by 200, which is equal to negative 20. So our slope is negative 20. But let's also see if we can find our slope using two points that are closer together. Let's say we want to use this point here. We notice how the coordinates would be 80 comma 2,400. And now let's say we want to use this point here as our second point. We notice how the x coordinate falls halfway between 80 and 120. Notice that's a difference of 40. So each tick mark on the horizontal axis is equal to 20 units. And therefore, the x coordinate here would be 100. And the y coordinate would be 2,000. So now if we want to find the slope using these two points, notice how we'd have to go down, not one unit, but actually down 400 units. So delta y is equal to negative 400. And then we have to move right, not one unit, but looking at the scale, that would be right 20 units, so delta x is equal to positive 20. So using this information to calculate the slope, now notice the change of y is negative 400, so we have negative 400 divided by the change of x, which is positive 20, which still gives us negative 20, the same slope. And of course, if we wanted to, we could use the coordinates and use our slope formula here to get the same result. But since we have the graph, it makes sense to find the slope graphically. Now the next question asks us to determine the vertical intercept, which we already found. Notice how the line intersects the vertical axis at the point zero comma 4,000, which is the vertical intercept. So open parenthesis zero comma 4,000, close parenthesis. Well now we know the slope is negative 20, and since the vertical intercept is the point zero comma 4,000, we also know b equals 4,000. And this is all we need in order to write the equation of our line in sloped intercept form. We would have y equals the slope of negative 20 times x plus b, so we have plus 4,000. I hope you found this helpful.